All right. It was a year in the making, but it's time to give you the tour, the debut of our new cabin here in Mountain Falls. have named it bar 39 because we are lot 39 on the ridge we're really happy with it it was a lot of fun building and i just want to share first of all a lot of the people that made this happen a lot of the our contractor and a lot of the different vendors in the area here in the mountains of north carolina that made this place our dream it's a dream cabin for us in our dream RV park here at Mountain Falls. We're extremely happy and I can't wait to share this tour with you guys. I hope you enjoy. Hey, come on in. This really gives you a nice view of the loft upstairs. And then we wanted to make this porch a really killer gourmet kitchen. And I can honestly tell you that we've already had a few dinner parties and it has served the functioning well. Thermador appliances. I fell in love with Thermador and we were lucky enough to pick out all of the latest greatest. We have a place in Asheville called Haywood Appliance that we got all of our appliances from. And I love this concept of having refrigerator, freezer, and wine cooler. Kind of a little three column deal. The main thing that I really, really, really wanted when we built this cabin was a waterfall edge island. And I knew there was only one company <laughs> in the mountains that could do what I wanted, and that was Black Rock Granite. Pascal has done all the work for us uh, in our condo and the other lots that we've had, and he just kind of outdid himself on this one. We went down to South Carolina and picked up this slab this video is probably not doing it justice, but the way he folded that waterfall, I mean, it is fabricated to perfection. And you know Mike Skinner's a fabricator. He was even impressed. I wanted to do a fun, kind of built-in china cabinet type look, kind of like a farmhouse. My grand used to always have cool china cabinets and I inherited my mom and my grandma's china. So I ended up with a nice little cabinet to put all that in. I did my own version of a butler's pantry and I love it because if you can see something, you use it, right? So now I've got all of my little serving pieces visible, anything that's throw away or cleaning, I've got, you know, tucked behind cabinets, but I can also use this for my air fryer, my crock pot, the toaster, coffee pot, the blender, all my wonderful vitamins, the bread box. <laughs> so it doesn't take away from this beautiful kitchen. I absolutely love this. This is kind of cool. This is another little neat deal that we did. We did the Thermador built-in coffee machine. This thing is fantastic. We did a microwave drawer this time with Thermador. Never did that. I'm really enjoying that. And this new Thermador range. This thing is fire. Check it out. It's a gas burning stove. I did the induction because we already have a griddle um, with our EVO out in the outdoor kitchen, which I'll show you in a little bit. It has a steam oven, a warming drawer, and a nice big oven. I am loving that thing. Taylor Designs, he created this really cool, kind of industrial, more modern hood for above our range. And at first, Mike and I were like, oh, I don't know, it's kind of plain. We didn't know if we'd like it or not. Well, he knew what he was doing when he suggested it because it really complements our fireplace accent wall. Instead of having just a big stone fireplace, which most people have here at Mountain Falls, and they're beautiful, we just wanted something a little bit different. So we talked with Garrett, and Garrett and I and Mike decided that steel would look really cool with more of a framing of stone for the fireplace. All the way up to the ceiling, I absolutely love how this turned out. We did go with a gas fireplace this time, and the main reason is because Mike was just tired of always carrying in logs. Mike still got to put his trophies from hunting. Custom cabinetry, another beautiful 
display of Ryan Powell's craftsmanship. Omnia leather furniture. We had this curved sofa. These are really cool. These ottomans are also storage. Of course, Mike had to have a Barca lounger this time, so we got him a custom one from Omni Leather. Now, these are the really cool doors that open all the way up. So when the weather starts to get a little bit nicer, we will have the opportunity to open this all up, and it's basically a true open air porch. I gotta show off Garrett again. Look at this beautiful table that he created for us. Taylor Designs, I mean, you can tell him what you want and he will figure it out. We needed a long table, but it couldn't be too wide because we only have so much room with all the furniture in here. And of course we like to entertain, so we wanted a really cool durable table, but really, really happy with how this table turned out. Now this is something we put a lot of thought into. We love to drink wine, we love to entertain, we like to have a cool bar. So we turned our little living space inside into a bar and this is it. I mean, it is called Bar 39. I saw a backlit Onyx bar wall on Pinterest and I had to have this. And I'm so glad that Mike let me do it because it is stunning. It's beautiful when you're sitting in the family room looking inside here, let alone when you actually walk in here and get the nice glow. So we found this really cool screen wire. You can kind of see in there, we, we lit the shelves and I love the cremine bolts here. You open it up, that's my dad's old pipe. And so he liked to drink gin. So of course we put gin and he was a little crazy and wild. So we put Tennessee fire with him up there. But <laughs> We've got a nice bar sink. We've got dishwasher, lots of nice cabinets for wine glasses and beer glasses, ice machine this time, and even a beverage cooler in here for all my mixers and sodas. Skinner had to hang his guitars. Now, here's the masterpiece, the wine cellar. So we did an air temperature controlled. It's a whisper cool unit that's in here. So it is air temperature controlled under the steps, space utilization again, like I mentioned, and this company is called Stacked. These are panels. Each square has two rows, and then you measure and you figure out how many panels that you want. Mike actually installed this whole deal, and then Garrett of Taylor Designs, who I'm so excited with. He's just absolutely amazing in Cashers, North Carolina. They did this old chestnut for us, which is also on the ceiling of the bar here. We wanted to do something spectacular in this bar, and I think that this old, they called it Warmy Chestnut, and it's out of Ohio, a home state, so. We were going to originally do metal with like grommets like this. And we're like, you know, we got a lot of steel accents in the family room and in the kitchen. Let's do something different. So I had some cowhide. So we took this to Dragonfly, downtown Brevard, North Carolina. It's a framing in an art gallery, and the folks there were awesome, and we we're like, hey, we, we need you to put the, and they were like, what? And we showed them a picture and they, they were like, okay, we get it. So they did a great job. We are still going to add a few grommets, have a little fun, dress that up just a little bit. Now this takes you into what I call my med room. Now it's not exactly when you first walk in the door, but it's very functional and I'll tell you why. We all kind of were like, okay, how can we make this look like a mud room, but don't make it too cluttered, but make, make it functional because we play pickleball, we play golf, we have flip flops. And I didn't want those upstairs in my closet. So I have these baskets from our other cabin and it's working out great. But here's the cool thing. We decided to make this his little feeding station so people wouldn't be tripping over a dog bowl when they're in our kitchen, but it's a pot filler that we just turned into a water station for our dog Clyde. Now this is a really tiny little guest room. <laughs> we didn't really have the space because you can only you know build so much, but this does turn into a twin bed. So if somebody does come and they want to stay the night or they have a little too much to drink and they don't need to drive down the mountain, we can undo that bit. I put Clyde's toy box in here because, you know, he's our baby. But here is the wash stand. Now I'm going to show you something really cool here. So I'm pretty sentimental and my sister is too. 
This is really cool. Check this out. She wrote in here for me. So our farm was called Nine Hills Farm. Family was Welsh. The Evans established in 1865. And here's the history where it started with my great grandma, then to my grandma, to my mom, to my sister, and then to me. And I've had it since 2010. Here's the actual sign that used to hang outside the farmhouse in Southern Ohio on Pope Patch Road, Black Fork, just outside of Jackson where I went to high school. This is the original Edwards. My maiden name was Edwards. And this hung there for years. Another element I really wanted to do that would be fun, these wonderful glass doorknobs. I am in love with them. We also did black doors and black trim this time, something we've never done in any of our houses, with a lighter floor. And I didn't know if I'd like it, but I really like it. Okay, now this is my funky little bathroom, you guys. I'm gonna show you with all the cool lights on because it's a lot of fun, but get ready. This might hurt your eyes. <laughs> Mike is not so crazy about this floor. I, on the other hand, absolutely love it. And for all my friends, the toilet seat is still heated. Mike was gonna cheapen that out, and I said, no, my girlfriends expect to have heated toilet seats when they come to my house. <laughs> 